Yeah, exactly. Because today I got three bouquets of flowers. What does that mean? King, can sing. Ah, hey chaps. <laughs> it's another, it's the beginning of another vlog. I'm actually trying to set up a meeting Lucia now. And I'm actually, I've got like a little, um, okay, okay, to set up a, a gift for Lucia. I'm meeting her now and I just wanted to get her a little something to make her day. Um, as you guys know, I get books all the time. I gift books, but I also gift, uh, my friends books as well. So I'm gifting her, sorry. So I'm gifting her one of my favorite books. This is, um, Secret Lives of Church Ladies because I absolutely loved it. I'm going to wrap them up separately. Perfect. And I'm actually also going to throw in Claire McIntosh's uh, The Lost Party. I'll throw that one in there as well. Uh, gifting. Gifting for me is not necessarily my love language. I'm also going to throw in some chocolates there so that she enjoys. Gifting is not necessarily my love language per se. Um, but I, I like just making someone's day like that sometimes you know so yeah five minutes away from the mall where i'm meeting lucia if you're not familiar with who lucia is you'll see <laughs> she's also a, a creator uh so you'll see gonna meet up with her now uh, uh. so Why? Why do you come running? When I was parking, you didn't even greet me, so... Um, so if you're familiar with the Lulu here on YouTube, then you'll know who I'm gonna go meet. Because that's what she uses on her YouTube name. Ooh, the sun in the back. It's actually pretty rude if you ask me, darling. That's my problem. I love a bad bitch, that's my fucking problem. <laughs> There's no Lucia. Hey guys! Hi! Hi. 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 We've been, we, we're, we're just happy. Tell the, tell the girlies that we're best friends now. We are BFFs forever. Okay, we are grown BFFs forever. <laughs> Hey, Bobby. I can't taste my tongue. But because I close to like into his sub I mean, I guess. Is it cold? I mean, I guess. You can just like pull me. Ah, yo, fucking. <laughs> hey, on. I'm talking because. Because I'm a rat. Because I'm a man. 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 Proper snowing. Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Wow, what a time. Hey everybody, hi. Um, I just came back from the shops. This is another vlog. I am using <clears throat> my Canon because my Sony I left in Diesel's car. <laughs> fancy times and this one is literally about to die but i thought that before it does we do a grocery haul when was the last time you saw a grocery haul 
Eh? When was the last time you saw one? This is what this channel is about. And my lips are dry. <laughs> this is what this channel is about. So I'm using my M50 right now. Um, and the settings, I'm not sure if they 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 the settings I'm happy with, but because we have this and yeah, mics, all of that is fine. We're just gonna have to do with it for this vlog until I get my Sony back. So here we go. I went into Woolies and I went into Woolies. <laughs> okay, my hair's a tip. Let's not judge. I uh, went into Woolies, got myself the chicken, which I think is exorbitantly priced. It's a hundred rand for the for the rotisserie chicken. It's crazy, but it's really good, so it's worth it. Uh, picked up my faves, which are the cedar rolls. Really, really love these. Um, the reason why I picked up groceries this weekend is because diesel's going to be around and i hadn't done a grocery shop in quite a while and typically i enjoy cooking for him and making breakfast at home and all of that when he's around so i was just like you know what let me go let me pick these things up and um because there's no power right now it should be coming back in the next five ten minutes but hey hey ho you never know uh some robot peppers because i love adding that to my food we've got some organic Bananas. The idea was not for them to necessarily be organic. They just I just picked them up. Okay. Um, blueberries because breakfast. Uh, we've got the Forel pears, which I really really enjoy. I don't necessarily like the other types of pears, but these ones are really good. And as I'm saying, I'm trying to now snack on fruits as opposed to snacking on popcorn or chips or things like that so i'm trying to snack on fruits if i want to eat something i'm going to eat fruit um then we've got hoss avocados because i love them uh i think i'm gonna do a roast on sunday or maybe put these in the oven on saturday depending on what i decide to cook for us but uh if not they'll probably go in as a roast on sunday so with some meat um got some juice as well i haven't bought these in a minute i actually really haven't bought these in a while so finally got a chance to pick them up my grapefruit juice and my mandarin juice picked them both up and then there was a special on a whole bunch of lamb so i picked that up <laughs> from 420 to like 200 bucks okay so it's it's a, a and and when you know you know how expensive lamb is when you know you know right okay uh oranges of course Ugh. got some oranges um got more vegetables these are the country vegetables strawberries pumpkin butternut a little bit of coleslaw. Ooh, battery's gonna die. Uh, grapes. Tomatoes for salads. Love that. Julienne um, vegetables for a stir fry later on this week, maybe tomorrow or weekend sometime. Um, some of my favorite salads. We've got the bulgur wheat one and we've got some beetroot as well. And then finally, we've got the strips these are the beef strips that i'm going to make the beef stir fry with later on in the weekend but you'll probably see all of that uh battery's about to die so i'm gonna go pack these away hopefully the power will come back i'll charge the battery up and then we'll sit down and have a chat there's a couple of things that i want to show you that i picked up from take a lot and some book mail and all of that and yeah talk to you guys a little bit later let me put all of the stuff away
Thank you, God, for a beautiful day. This cold, it's a cold day. Like, we really, really not raging us. Cold as fuck. Alright, good morning everybody. I'm gonna go take a shower. Okay, I had to sleep in this because the temperatures have dropped again. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shower and then I'll let you know about the day's plans. There's not much going on, but I'll let you know either way. Okay, okay. So one thing I will share with you is that it's freaking cold. Why? 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 That's my labello. Anyway, the, anyway, hi, hey everybody, good morning. Uh, man, it is cold. <laughs> I just prepared my drinks for when the power goes because the power is gonna go in the next ten minutes, and uh, I have a coaching session at. 11 it is now 10 to 10 so i need to head upstairs and prepare for that uh that's that's great that's that's fantastic that's fun in the meantime i wanted to share with you uh some of the books that i'm reading uh at the moment one i'm listening to and i'm pretty much done with it uh yeah, I've got an hour about uh, about an hour or so left. This is the book. In my dreams, I hold a knife, and this is by Ashley Winstead. It is a thriller. Now, I was really looking forward to reading or listening to whatever it is this book because I I was really really excited about it. I'd heard good things about it. Uh, <laughs> For me, it is just, mm, so you're following these, uh, Courtney, Jessica, five, six friends that go to this, um, they go to this university together, this really prestigious university called Duquette. And the character we're actually following is Jessica. <coughs> and we're hearing the story from Jessica's point of view. And uh, Jessica is intolerable she's just i if if ever i came and i read a book where i didn't like the main character this is it this is it um she's intolerable she's arrogant um she's quite antagonistic she's very very ignorant as well she's a shitty friend like she really is so anyway you follow these uh students their friends they go to this prestigious university and um we're watching or reading this book in two dual time spans from Jessica's point of view. So we're seeing it back then and we're seeing it at a later stage. Uh, Jessica is now 
grown and she's uh, 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 living lavish, she's wealthy, she's got a great career and she goes back to the school for sort of like a reunion, like a 10 year reunion um, and they all go back there, seven, there's seven friends, they all go back there, uh, one friend passed away, uh, died while they were still in school and she was found in her room and this is the friend that Jessica shared a room with she was found dead in her room with like 17 or 20 stab wounds and the person who had killed her was never really found even though um, there has been suspicion from this girl's brother older brother that uh, one of the seven of the friends had taken her life so now you're going back forth, you know, watching their friendship develop, watching how they also drifted from each other over the years. Some of them married each other um, and you watch their relationship and you kind of just get an uh, inkling of the dynamic of the friendships and how so-and-so was closer to this person and so-and-so was closer to this person. Jessica is a little bit of a dingle bat. <laughs> I actually didn't like her. I don't like the book, um, so I don't really feel like talking about it that much. I do want to finish it. Um, the twists and the turns, <clears throat> the book itself is written pretty well. It's quite atmospheric as well, which is which is something I appreciate, but um, the characters are truly unlikable. There's a character there called Courtney who is just, oh my God. Uh, but a book I did start reading yesterday which I heard great things about. And I have been itching to just read a literary fiction novel. This is Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Hoff Honeyman. This is, I've, I'm only 30 pages in and I've already chuckled uh, two or three times. It's really well written. I really enjoy it. In this one, you follow 30-year-old Eleanor Oliphant, who just leads a very basic, bland, boring life. You know, she's a finance clerk for this uh, big design company. And she just goes to work. Her colleagues really don't like her. She just goes to work. She comes back home. She's got a routine. It's a set routine. Every Friday, she goes after work. She goes, she buys herself a pizza and she buys herself two bottles of vodka and she goes home. This is every single Friday, religiously. Um, and then, so we're watching her life kind of unfold. She doesn't have a man. She doesn't have, she doesn't have a partner. She doesn't have like nothing she talks to her mom once a week for like 15 minutes and and that's it so she she just has a really bland existence right until one day she goes to a concert and she sees who she claims is the future love of her life and she becomes incessantly obsessed with this person she goes and she's like look i'm gonna change my whole look i'm gonna this is in the first 30 pages i'm gonna change my whole look i'm gonna go get a wax i'm gonna do this i'm i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna buy myself a laptop so that i can find this person online so i can reach out to them online she's kind of just weird okay but uh, it's written really well and it also expresses the the mundaneness of 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 just normal life like not everybody lives this really exciting life where every day is a big surprise or every day is a big thing you know it expresses i think in the first 30 pages a life that many people live many people live um she's 30 so i feel like she's a little bit too young to have already settled into this kind of life but however I cannot wait to see where it goes. I've heard absolutely wonderful things about this book. It is the book of the year, the British uh, Book Awards. So it's the book of the year for that in, I don't know what year it was. It doesn't say the name of the year, but really, really excited to finish this. I'm itching to actually read it. In this hour that I have before my client, I'm actually itching to read it. Um, there's no mic on here. As I said, I'm using my Canon, um, so bear with me, okay? The next uh, vlog will be, the sound will be proper. Um, uh, I do have the mic. It's somewhere. I just don't know where it is, and I couldn't be bothered. I couldn't be bothered. Yeah, I couldn't be bothered. So I got some 
uh, a Bluetooth lavalier mic, which was delivered by Take A Lot yesterday, and I'm resting the camera on that now. So I will show you that once I'm done with my work work for the day. I'm gonna go upstairs, uh, prep for my session. I do need to look at a couple of notes and things like that before I um, see my client. If you guys didn't know, or if you're new to the channel, I am a mental health and self-development coach, and I've got a number of clients that I coach, and I'm taking on, I take on more clients, which is, it's just a blessing. Uh, in its own regard and I'll talk more about that a little bit later because um, I, I just haven't really shared on here how difficult the last three years has been for me um, so I've had to rely on all my extra side work to kind of help me you know and help for my financial security which is one of the things that stresses me out the most which is one of the things that really really um plagues on my mental health quite a lot. Um, I don't like to be financially insecure. It's just, it's not me. So um, things, things, I am hopeful that things are looking up um, and the coaching and having people who believe in uh, me coaching them and having people who ask me to come and speak at events and all of that is just, it's just truly been uh, a blessing that's alleviated me so so much um, in terms of just constantly being stressed out about financial security. But we'll talk about that. Jenna, main, that's just an honest chit chat, but we'll have a, we'll have a chat about that. Funny story. <laughs> story, right? I do my session, right? Finish my session. There was no power in the house. So I'm just like, ah, you know what? After I finish my session, I'm like, the power's probably going to come back at one like it did tomorrow, yesterday, even though it was, it was supposed to come back at 12. But I was just like, you know what? It's probably going to come back at one. They always do this to us. Let me just go and get myself a coffee, okay? Right? So I've got a Starbucks, like, literally a minute from my house. And it's, it's nice. So I'm like, okay, let me go get a coffee. I'm going to sit there for about another hour, read my book, and get a sandwich. As I am driving out, I leave the house. There's no power in the house, right? Um, the solar works, but I, I, can't, I can't. The plugs don't work. So it's fine. I leave the house. And I'm just like, okay... <laughs> As I turn the corner and I approach the robot, boom, power comes back. So I didn't, I was just like, you know what, I'm already in the car, screw this, I'm gonna go get the Starbies and I'm gonna get the Starbies, the sandwich. So I really love their brown bread, uh, bacon and cheese sandwich and then I asked them to toast it up for me. And then I was just like, okay, instead of sitting there, I'd rather be comfortable and cozy on the couch um, and read my book while I'm on the couch. So that's what I'm going to do now while I eat. Um, but before that, I go to that Starbucks quite a lot. And normally when I go, I'm just going to work or to read, have a cup of coffee, whatever. But I've noticed that since that Starbucks has opened, I've literally fallen uh, into the Starbucks accessories trap. And recently they've been doing a lot of black, um, you know, tumblers, that kind of thing. And I wanted to show you some of the ones that I've picked up that I absolutely love. One of them, uh, Diesel bought for me. This is by far, I'm going to mention this and I'm going to say it now. It's a splurge. I understand Starbucks is very expensive, especially their stuff. It's quite expensive. So I, I'm just sharing. If you're somebody who likes tumblers and containers and all of that, I'm just sharing that I'm a fan because 
they're black okay the first one is this one this tumbler here and it's got the starbucks logo there in paint tint and the rest of the tumbler is matte and i absolutely love it so much this i typically use quite a lot when i'm driving and i'm just like okay let me pour myself some water and then i walk out and i use that and then at night or when i'm in the house and it's cold and all of that i have this starbucks coffee mug it's stunning it's stunning it's great uh, keeps my coffee quite warm the whole time. Love this one as well. And then what Diesel got me recently at his Starbucks because mine doesn't have this. And I was really gutted. So I saw it at his Starbucks a couple of weeks ago. And I was like, please buy me this. And he's like, stop it. Stop it. Walk. Just walk away. Walk away. Walk. And then he got it for me like a week later. So I was just like, thanks, buddy. So this is also like, oh my god, it's just, they're just stunning. They're stunning to do as well. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm very hungry. That's another thing. I'm very, very hungry. This is the bacon and cheese brown. So this is the bacon and cheese brown sandwich. Hmm. Get up, nigga. Yeah, it's good. It's good. All right. I want to show you what I got from Take A Lot. So this is like a Bluetooth lavalier mic. And I'm resting you guys on it. So let's do this. So here it is. It's, uh, as much as... I don't mind the lavalier mic that I use for this Canon camera when I'm sitting down. It's the wire which connects to the mic port, blah, blah, but you, you can only go so far. So I was thinking to myself, maybe I should get the, the Bluetooth one, the one that's just wireless, so a wireless mic, right? Um, my dream one, that, the one that I'm really going to get one day, not now, but one day as part of my collection, is the road one but for now I decided to get this one because it's got great reviews so let's see and there it is and there it is there it is can you see that how cool is that how cool is that so it's uh so this part of the so the this is the wireless mic as you can see and then this part attaches to either your camera where it's got the the 3.5 uh, millimeter thing that attaches to your camera. This part can attach to your Android phone and this part can attach to your uh, Apple phone. So how cool is that? Maybe you're somebody who doesn't have a camera, but you want to start recording podcasts, videos, whatever. This is fantastic. This is really, really good. So hopefully the sound is great because I'm quite particular about the sound. That's why I'm so bummed with the fact that there's no mic on there right now. But, hey man, I guess it'd be like that sometimes. It's dirty. Love that. Okay. So that's the mic. Look at that. Hey, hey focus. So that's the mic. Love it. So you attach this. Ooh. <clears throat> attach it to there like that okay anyway so cool and then this part would be the part that the adapter that attaches to your iPhone side your camera and your Android how dope is this should we try it now let's try it now should we should we I don't know do you just is it a plug and play or do I need to switch it on Switch it on. So what we're going to do is try and switch off the noise reduction and hopefully that should sound a lot better. I don't know, man. Um... Learning these things is always the trickiest part, but we're going to see how it works out. Um, and then once I figure it out, it's going to be a party. <laughs>
the sun is not sunning too much on me at this point. But uh, I've got a couple of uh, um, packages that came in from Jonathan Ball Publishers. And we have one from Penguin Random House as well. And I thought, you know, it might be a good idea to show you the packages, you know, show you what I've received. And on top of that, I also picked up some books that uh, Mr. Diesel got for me, which was absolutely wonderful. Thanks, bro. I mean, appreciate you. So let's clip this in and hope for the best, okay? <laughs> All right. So anyway, I've attached you guys further down somewhere, right? Here we go. So uh, right now I'm going to show you what I got from Penguin Random House. Thank you very much to Penguin for this. This is actually a book that I was looking for. I really was looking for this one and I was so excited. This is Holly Corbin's I Will Find You. And Holly Corbin typically writes a lot of thrillers, crime thrillers. And I was really, really excited to get this one because I had requested it, but uh, I never got it. And I had a conversation with someone from Penguin at an event and she was like, you know what? I'm going to see if I can find it for you. So this is essentially uh, about a dad who wakes up. His name is David. He wakes up to find himself covered in blood and it's not his blood, but it's his son's. And even though he knows that he didn't murder his son, uh, the overwhelming evidence against him puts him behind bars indefinitely. Five years into his imprisonment, Cheryl's sister arrives and drops a bombshell. She shows him a photograph of a friend that a friend took on vacation at a theme park. The boy in the background looks familiar. Could be his son, could it not be? I don't know, but the title of the book had me at I Will Find You, and I was like, I know that's right. <laughs> and then from Jonathan Ball Publishers, I... Got a really, really lovely package. Here we go. Got a really, really nice package here. It was all wrapped up and it looked cute and it came with some sweets and some sherbet and some um, okay, chocolate eclairs. Cadbury, uh, Luna, Cadbury. And yeah, I was really, really looking forward to this one. So the name of the book, and I think it's a new one. This could be a arc. No, I don't think it is actually. Huh. Huh. This is called Girls of Little Hope. Looks pretty lovely. Okay. And uh, three girls went into the woods. Only two came back covered in blood and no memory of what happened. Being 15 is tough. Tougher when you live in a boring ass small town like Little Hope. <laughs> Donna Ray and Kat kept each other sane with the cat. Cat. Kept each other sane with the fervor of teen girl friendships. Zion making and some amateur sleuthing into the town's most enduring mysteries, a lost gold mine, and why little Ronnie Gaskins burnt his parents alive a decade ago. What do you even mean? Um, so it's Friday afternoon. It is quarter to three. At this point, I'm ju I think I'm just going to relax a little bit, unwind, and not worry too much about, you know, I've been working a little bit. Trying to figure this out for the last 45 minutes <laughs> but finally i figured it out and i'm really really excited about it so we're good we're good okay um yeah i'll check in with you guys a little bit later i'm gonna start maybe probably editing this video now but we'll see we'll see how it goes okay